So recently, I published a video on how to use the white balance module in Darktable, but I might have made a huge mistake. I don't think I was making a mistake so much in how I explained the white balance module or how I was actually using it. Just the fact that I was using the white balance module at all seems to be the big mistake. Hey, I'm Dylan. Thanks for spending some time with me here on my channel, Live Life Creative. Now, these two commenters said that I was making a huge mistake because the developers of Darktable said not even to touch the white balance module anymore at all, but instead use the color calibration module. This is a module I've barely touched, barely looked at. I don't really know that much about it. They're also these two guys, but I think they had a separate issue. So the way I understand it, the chromatic, <laughs> so the way I understand it, the cat function in the color calibration module tries to do one thing in particular, recolor the surfaces, they say, all of the objects in your photo as if they had a different color of light illuminating them. So say you're taking a picture in daylight and you just had your white balance on your camera set to, you know, 5600 Kelvin or so, or maybe just the daylight preset on your camera. And then you took that photo into dark table and you thought, hmm, I wish this photo was a little bit warmer as if the light shining on it was a little bit warmer or I wish the photo was a little bit cooler as if the light shining on it was a little bit cooler color. This also, I think, applies if you're using like colored light for like gels, like a red gel or blue gel, maybe. I have not gotten that deep into the color calibration module. So when you want to try to change the color of the light shining on your photo, the cat function tries to go through all of the colors in the photo and relight them as if they had that color of light shining on them. And according to the dark table manual, the cat function is different from white balance because white balance is only looking at the whites and the grays of a, of a photo. And they're trying to make those neutral. Uh, the way they have the formula in the manual is the R channel equals the G channel equals the B channel, RGB, red, green, blue. So when the white balance is just trying to make those look neutral, I guess it just drags the rest of the colors along with it, but the white balance module isn't specifically trying to change the color of the photo in the same way that the color calibration module is. And since the cat function in the color calibration is looking at all the colors of the rainbow, it's just changing the colors of them more accurately, I guess. So in essence, the two commenters were correct. I guess I was wrong. According to the manual, yeah, they're right. The developers of Dark Devil don't want you to use white balance anymore. They want you to use color calibration. I mean, the color calibration module does have more tools and more options. It can do more things. Uh, hopefully it judges white balance more accurately than the white balance module because that seems to be one of the main benefits of it. And overall, I mean, time marches on, right? And so does software development. So does, you know, making progress in Darktable and becoming a better software for uh, editing photos in. However, I want you to think about the beginner photographer just downloading Darktable to use as a free photo editor because they don't want to shell out 10, 10 bucks a month to Adobe every month just to use Lightroom and Photoshop. And I say hats off to that person because I don't think this whole software subscription thing that just kind of sucks to me. I understand it because it helps fund ongoing development, but it's also kind of sucky for the end user too. But this new photo editor, they might have uh, some previous experience with some photo editing on their phone. And I think that most of the photo editing apps on phones have white balance. That's something that they're used to. Maybe it doesn't say white balance. Maybe it says like warm or colder. Uh, maybe they have a separate hue or tint slider on the photo editor, but they have at least maybe a basic understanding of white balance already. So when they open up dark table and they see the white balance module there, they open it up, they're like, hey, I know what this is. Slide it this way, make it warmer. Slide it this way, make it colder. And then hue and tint, the tint slider, sorry, it kind of works the same way. More green this way, more pink this way. It's pretty, pretty simple. But then when you open up the color calibration tool, there's literally seven tabs across the top. Um, the cat tab, R channel, G channel, B channel, colorfulness, brightness, and grayness or grayscale or something like that. There's a whole bunch of them and it can be really confusing. And even on the cat tab, the default, like the first view in the color calibration module, 
there's a drop down box and there's like some crazy options in there. I, I had to write them down. Um, the menu has options like linear Bradford uh, IIC V4, uh, cat 16 parentheses, SciCam 16 parentheses. Uh, third one is non-linear Bradford, uh, an option that's called just XYZ, <laughs> no more description than that. And then just, you know, the default bypass option. That's just a lot to take in. Like if you're just doing this for the first time, that is really tough to understand all of that. So think about the white balance module in comparison with that. Open it up, slide this way, slide this way, slide the other way, slide this way with the two things. Click, click, click on the different options in the bottom. It's pretty straightforward. I think for the new user, the white balance module is a way friendlier tool than the color calibration module is. Now, I'm making videos to help the new user to Darktable. So I'm doing like, you know, 101 level courses type thing, like just the basic tools, get you started, get you running. This is how it is. Because overall, Darktable can be in a pretty intimidating program to work with. Like you open it up, and you just hard to know what everything does. It takes tutorials and poking around and clicking things and trying things. I'm just trying to make that process easier for the new user. Darktable is an awesome program with tons of possibilities built into it. And for that reason, I love it. Like I have gone through and worked with not all of them, but a lot of the modules and at least see what they do and try to integrate some of them that I find useful into my own workflow. And I wanna pass that knowledge along. But along with that level of inherent possibility and flexibility, there's a trade-off on complexity and that complexity can make it really hard to learn how to use it. So from the goal of presenting tutorials that maybe at least hopefully relate to some previous experience they have from editing photos on their phone, I'm gonna reach for the white balance module before I reach for the color calibration module when I'm trying to teach a new user something. So Juan, Franklin, you're right. The developers of Darktable, they're moving in a direction where they don't want you to touch the white balance module anymore. They're, they're trying to push you in the direction of the color calibration module. But I hope that the white balance module doesn't go away because it's a tool with a pretty reasonable learning curve for new users. And that's something that I want to continue. Now, I did start using the color calibration module a little bit while I was researching this video. You know what, I kind of like it. I was going through the different RGB channels, the different colorfulness, grayscale tabs, all that kind of stuff. And I found some things that I liked about it. So I think I'm actually gonna dive into the color calibration module a little bit more deeply now because of this. So Juan and Franklin, thank you for at least pointing me in the, that direction for that. And hopefully I'll be able to do a tutorial maybe or a comparison between white balance and color calibration more, more deeply than this. Now, I'm Dylan. Thanks for spending some time with me on Live Life Creative. Check out some more of my tutorials and things on Darktable.